Hi, this is Min and welcome to another episode of She Walks the World where I bring to you some of my favorite simple dishes on my travels around the world. And today we're going to head to South Korea where we will learn how to make the staple dish, bibimbap. On my last trip to Korea, I was in Jeonju, the capital of bibimbap. Mm. Find out more in the link above. So bibimbap actually means mixed rice and you just mix all the vegetables and the meat and the egg together to make a meal. So that's what I'm going to do today. I actually got all these uh, leftover vegetables that I have from my fridge and we will start to make the bibimbap. So what I have here on the table is siu ba choy, cabbages, cucumber, mushrooms, carrots, some minced meat and an egg. So we're going to start first with the vegetables. So you can use any kind of vegetables that you can find in your fridge and most of the time they actually use stuff like zucchini, bean sprout and spinach but I don't have those. So I have still bok choy so that's what I'm going to use first. You want to have a little flavour to it so you can add some oyster sauce. I make sure that I cut my siu pak choy to smaller pieces so then it can actually be arranged nicely in the bowl. And then we start with cabbage. And make sure you cut them into strips so that it's easily arranged on the bowl as well. I'm going to add some sesame oil here. And some soy sauce. And then there's also the cucumber but I'm going to have this raw. And then we'll go next with the mushrooms. Add a little bit of a sprinkle of salt, sesame oil. This is done. And finally, we add in the last vegetable which is the carrot. And it's actually just to make it slightly softer. Make sure it's julienned and all you need is just some sesame oil. And now we head on to the main part of the ingredients of bibimbap which is the meat. You can always put beef or chicken or pork. I'm going to put in minced meat. A little sprinkle of salt. You can put about one teaspoon or one tablespoon of sesame oil and soy sauce. A little bit of chili flakes and some pepper. And the final ingredient that goes on top of the bibimbap is the fried egg. That's it. Egg is ready. And now it's time to arrange all these cooked ingredients into my bibimbap bowl. And there you go! Wow! My bowl of bibimbap. And that is how simple it is to actually make a bowl of bibimbap. You can actually use any kind of vegetables and most of the time the Koreans actually eat it with gochujang chili sauce but because I don't have any, I'm going to make do with some soy sauce and a little drip of sesame oil. This is Min. Thanks for watching another episode of She Walks the World. Do leave in the comments what kind of international cuisine or your favourite recipes you would like to see me cook on the show and don't forget to subscribe. Bye! Now I'm going to go mix this bowl.